welcome back and look what we have in today the big boy the cinema 40 been waiting for this um i've actually had this since friday they came in on friday i had one of the first ones and i was out the whole weekend at a friend's wedding so i couldn't play with the toys um gonna be unboxing this now this is going to a brand new room here at home cinema king i'm not gonna play all my cards now i'm playing them close to my heart you all need to stay tuned to see what which room that is going to be but let's just say Marantz and this brand goes hand in hand for a very long time. So a new cinema room coming soon. But okay, same as the Cinema 50 video. I know all you guys are here just to get down what the Cinema 40 does more than the Cinema 50. So let's get into the unboxing. Same amount of channels. This has more power. It has more toys. It has more features. It has a drop down face with a screen. And that is what most of you... I actually think that is what's going to be the, the selling point for most guys is um, the drop down face of the screen and then obviously a bit more power but it's got the same amount of channels but I know this is going to be even from the previous gen um, the 6015 there was a big jump although on paper it didn't look huge but there was a big jump on everything um, just overall build quality sound everything was better so let's get into this on top, we're going to be greeted with the new way. Um, let me see how I can tilt this for you guys. The new packaging on the cinema series, which is very nice. I love it. You get greeted with this box. And inside the box, you have all the goodies. You have your remotes, manuals, all of that. How nice is that, eh? Just for presentation, I absolutely love it. Remote, still exactly the same exact same remote as on the 50 all of this i think is exactly exactly the same okay so let's put this off to the side Just down there. okay all of this still the same as well your microphone your power cable put that to the side and let me get to what everyone is here for the bad boy itself. Box. on. How nice is that little gold logo? Rose goldy logo for the Morants. Small little details. I just love. So I want to get this off nicely and tilt it in. So when I sell this again, it looks nice and new. Oh, we are the wrong way around but while we are the wrong way around let's look at the actual business end very much the same aluminium aluminium we'll get to the front now very much the same same binding posts inputs um very much the same as the cinema as the cinema 50 um, just being a bit bigger, we have the same HDMI outputs, all being 8K. Um, inputs, outputs, all 8K on this, or a 3D D-Rack that you can do now if you need to buy it separately. Remember, D-Rack you need to buy separately. It, doesn't, it comes on the unit, but you need to buy the licenses for that. Um, Dolby Atmos Vision, all your regular stuff on here. Looks very much the same. I'm just thinking now. I think what is different on these, and I will post a link as well, not a link, just a little description if I'm right or wrong. I think this has more inputs than on the 40. I'll put them side by side so you can see the differences at the back. And I'm not quite sure. I see this has a signal ground, so this can take a, um, a tuner. So he has a phono. So that might also be different. I actually have. I have the 40 here, but I don't, of the 50, I don't want to unplug it. I'll put them side by side for a side comparison. This is much bigger and bulkier. On top, just going to do it like this. You guys won't see, but you can see there's a bigger, beefier transformer, different board a layout, amplifier layout is completely different. Again, I'll post a pic of the internals. Let's get to the front. So here we go. Oh, look at this. All aluminium. And on this one, aluminium too. This is just much bigger. 
So I'm looking at that. This is much bigger. I love this matte black. Matte blacky finish. Oh, the new finish is just divine. So there we go, there's the drop down face with the screen. Very nice soft movement. Got your screen there so you can keep it open and actually see and not be reliant on that porthole. Let's, let's see if the size difference compared to the Cinema 50. Move this. There we go. There's about there's about a two to three centimeter height difference. Width will be the same. Depth is about the same. Three centimeter depth if I look at the chest of the chassis itself. So yeah, quite a difference. I actually think this also, I'm not sure. I will I will I will talk about that in my audio demo. I think this lights up on the side as well, where that does not. I think this illuminates. So I will I will give my feedback on that. But for now, that's the unboxing. Stay tuned for the actual testing of this unit. And I'll tell you if there are any differences between these two units. So stay tuned for that one. Till next time, guys. Cheers. Bye. Okay, guys. Let's talk all things Marantz Cinema 40. And what sets this apart from the Marantz Cinema 50. So in a nutshell, like I said with the unboxing is, Specs, 9 channel, 11 channel capable, all very much the same. This boy just has more power. The build quality is a bit more refined and you do have the flip down screen, which you do not have on the other one. So you can open that up if you want to see more than just have the keyhole. At the side, I'll add in a photo. You have the LEDs that illuminate on this dimple effect, which is very cool. That in itself is very cool. And you can change those LEDs to blue as well if you go into the hard menu. In a dark cinema, I keep my lights down very dim because I don't want too many things distracting my attention from what I'm about to view. But that is a very cool feature. Um, differences apart from that, you have a bit more you can set internally, but you are just paying for more power and having a some more features and the light up effect um, apart from that between the cinema 40 and cinema 50 not really much difference you can still do the four subs i'll add in a video of what i did in the bow and wilkins room here with the four subs playing i have the 4d and 12 here and that for me on these new units is the biggest difference if you want to upgrade from your old units to the new cinema 40 or 50 um, like the one guy asked on on youtube on a question about the d-rack if you just want to change for that that's not that's not worth it d-rack is available on these but i still feel that they just added it in there to tick a box to say we have d-rack that is why it's an optional extra I've never liked D-Rack. I've used them on NADs. Um, I do not like them. It's fiddly, it's a pain. On the Pioneers also, it's a pain to use. If you do like it and you want it, it's there as an optional, but for the guys that don't want it, Odyssey on the app or um, on the license you buy on your laptop is more than adequate, and I prefer that. Easier to use, I can get the same effects if you know what you are doing. Um, the four subs that is still epically mind-blowing i watched that jurassic park demo scene again now as the dinosaur walks you get like the foots for instance he walks and it's like doof, doof, and you'll hear this side of the room that side of the room and when he comes to a still stand it's like doof, and you just hear all four subs um you can't see my goosebump meter now it's underneath my jacket but guys it is epic it's epic um, so that in itself for me is worth the upgrade. I love the four subs and use them directionally. I've not been able to do music on four subs. It still does it in stereo. You have to go into a surround sound mode to use all four subs. So if you're listening to your music in Aura, oh not Aura, in Aura or Atmos, 
that's fine. Then you'll have all four subs. But in the stereo listening, I still only activates the front twos. Um, I don't know if there's a feature I'm not activating. I've been through all of it. Maybe what I can think is if you go, and what's nice about these units, the advanced bass menu. You go into the advanced bass, um, subs in stereo, subs directional, um, where you want to cut your front speakers, LFE plus main, you can still do, but then you can still go into the fronts and you can cut where you want. Um, so I can't tell you how far Morantz and Denon are above the competition now. It's almost not even a, an, an, an option for me anymore if you want another receiver. It's these two or if you want lesser the other units because they're all trailing not by one or two points by 10 20 50 a lot of points a lot of points these are head and shoulders above um i'm going to add in a little demo clip now um and that will also be it for the video um guys stay tuned for the bowers video on the complete room i do not know which one i would release first I think I might, I'll see. I'll see what order they come, but they were shot at the same time. They are present in the same room. Um, yeah. I think I've covered everything now on the Morans, on the new Denons, the four subwoofers. These all have Oro now that up mixes and builds in. Um, although Oro sort of went bankrupt now, the technology is still in these units to use them. I still think it was a brilliant technology. It just never got the attention it deserved until it was too late. And then it was too late. But yeah, that ship has now sailed. But you do still get the tech in these now. All added in basically for Mahala. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Till the next video. Cheers. Bye.